So, welcome everybody for this uh, uh, last presentation of this uh, doomed room. <laughs> Uh, my name is Giuseppe Magia. I am also known as the Data Charmer. I work uh, with uh, VMware and I've been working with the MySQL community for a long time. I have a blog and uh, a Twitter account that is uh, Data Charmer. I want to uh, make sure that you understand that what I do here has nothing to do with my company and I don't work for Oracle. So don't blame Oracle, don't blame VMware, it's all my fault. Um, once upon a time was uh, one tool named uh, MySQL Sandbox. Um, it was uh, a cool utility to install many uh, MySQL server in user space, meaning that you don't need root, uh, root uh, um, access to do that. It was written in Perl. It was somehow difficult to install for non-Perl geeks. And uh, it was hard to run when the system where you wanted to use it uh, didn't have Perl. So it was something that uh, was evolving on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and uh, ultimately, it was kind of a mess and difficult to uh, improve. So I had a dream, I wanted to improve MySQL Sandbox, and improve means rewrite MySQL Sandbox. So I say, let's do that in Python. No, maybe in Ruby, or in C++, in Java, just joking, in JavaScript, not even dead. <laughs> and then finally I came with Go, and I say, why not? Let's, uh, let's try. So DB Deployer is basically MySQL Sandbox written again from scratch in Go. So why I didn't use uh, Perl, uh, like Perl 6, uh, Python, Ruby, C++? I lost patience waiting for uh, Perl 6, uh, tired of uh, fighting with uh, sysadmins about uh, Python 2.6, 2.7, 3.1 whatever. Ruby seems to have disappeared and I can write C++ but it has the same problem as the, the other things, meaning that if you want to install, you need to install the dependencies. So library dependencies are a problem for every user that wants to use any uh, application based on Perl, Python, Ruby, uh, C++, and so on. So why Go? Because the problem of dependencies is on me. I solve it, and then I give it to the user, and they don't have to solve anything. They just take the executable, and it works. The only um, dependency that the, the users have is to have a place where MySQL can run. Also, it's uh, quick to develop, uh, and there is an amazing community that uh, helps me whenever I have a problem. So what is it? It's a command line tool, no dependencies like we said before. The interface, interface is familiar because it looks like uh, Git uh, or Docker. Um, it's fast. It can run single database replication, group replication, multiple deployments without replication, multi-source replication. It has an integrated help and uh, it is easy to extend. What can you do? You can install a single sandbox, for example. So it's a MySQL server isolated from uh, any existing MySQL server in the same machine, completely in, in user space. So you need root for that. It's reasonably isolated, meaning that it tries its best not to step on, on somebody else's toes. And it's easy to use. Using the same system, you can install a group of sandboxes, meaning that uh, many sandboxes of the same version, isolated from each other, that you can use for testing uh, strange things that you can do with uh, sandboxes not in replication. 
or you can install replication directly. So you say, I want one master and two slaves, and they just uh, pop up immediately. With replication enabled, optional with GTID, and easy tools to, um, to run replication. Or you can have a group replication directly in your laptop, three or more nodes, single primary or multi-primary, um, it just uh, gets installed uh, for you. If you try to install group replication in the same machine manually, you know that you will fail because it's quite a, a complicated operation that uh, is not uh, m meant to be done by humans. You can also install multi-source replication um, in MySQL 5.7 or 8.0 three or more nodes using fun in or all masters topology. What else can you do? You can administer sandboxes, list the available binaries, list installed sandboxes. You can start and restart, check the status, test and delete them. You can also customize sandboxes. Uh, so you can customize uh, the initialization and uh, the database start um, because DB Deployer has a template for every operation that offers to the user. So you can just download the, the template, change it, re, uh, put it back into DB Deployer and then you have something different using the same engine. You can also change the sandbox in such a way that they cannot be deleted, so you can make permanent and play with that, and DB Deployer will honor that and don't delete it. Another thing for which um, uh, DB Deployer is different from the previous uh, implementation is that uh, it can find the free ports automatically. So if there is a conflict with something that is already installed, DB Deployer will find it and uh, gives you, give you different ports for that uh, sandbox that you are trying to install. You can expose MySQL 8 dictionary tables. It is something that the MySQL team doesn't want you to do, uh, but you can do it because you are curious. Actually, I am curious, and I guess that uh, many geeks uh, share the same uh, sentiment. Um, and for this, you can just say DB Deployer gives me the uh, data, data dictionary in the clear, and you have it. You can use uh, semi-synchronous replication and uh, run MySQL SQL commands before and after the, um, the server initialization. How do you install it? You just uh, go to DB Deployer website find releases, download the binary for your operating system, meaning either Mac OS X or Linux, put the binary in the directory, in a directory in your path, and run it. This is an example. Go to releases, find the release, and get the binaries for your operating system. How do you use it? You need a MySQL binary tarball. A binary tarball is a tar GZ or tar XZ that has uh, the binaries inside, not source code. You tell DB Deployer to expand it and then you start creating some boxes. For example, here you choose the tar GZ for macOS or the targz for Linux. Once you download, this is how it works. You get the binaries, the tarball, you tell DB Deployer to unpack it, and by default it will go in a directory named opt mysql and expand this tarball with, the, with a directory that is named after the version of the tarball. And from that moment on, you can start uh, deploying. Say, DB Deployer deploys single, and you will create a single sandbox. Or DB Deployer deploy multiple, and you create multiple sandbox. 
So the principle is you unpack once and then use forever or until you get tired of using it. And this is a complete example. You see the deployer unpack and the full name of the tarball and then you can uh, run DB Deployer available and available uh, tells you which uh, versions have been expanded already. And then you can say DB Deployer deploy single and you refer to that uh, larger tarball that was expanded just by the version number. So you say DB Deployer deploy single 8011. There is a help that gives you a lot of uh, all the commands that are available. So unpack we mentioned. After unpack, you just run versions with an alias for um, available. And you can deploy. Then you can run some boxes that will show you what you have already installed. And there is a common usage that tells you uh, how to use <coughs> the sandbox that uh, you have already installed. There is also a global command that allows you to give a command to all the sandboxes that are installed. And uh, delete. So once you have finished, uh, you are finished using the, the sandbox, you can get rid of them. The default. Uh, are all the information related to the DB deployer um, composition, for example, the, um, the templates that I mentioned before, that you can use to customize the, the program. And finally, admin um, allows you to deal with the sandboxes, for example, to make them permanent or remove the, the protection. So, this is are just screenshots of the um, help for the various commands. And you see that there are a lot of uh, uh, options that allow you to do almost uh, everything that you, are, you have ever dreamed of uh, related to installing MySQL databases. Mm, regarding replication, one thing that you should know is that uh, you can install replication with different topologies. So uh, topology could be master-slave, which is the default, or topology group, and then you can add group, single primary, and topology all masters, or topology equal fan in. Um, when you do usage, it, it shows you what is inside a sandbox. So in every single sandbox, you will find commands like start, status, restart, and stop. So you can start the server, restart the server. For example, you can restart the server with uh, an option that uh, um, changes the configuration of the server. You can have the command use that will just give you the MySQL client for that version inside that sandbox uh, and more. And the same thing happens for multiple sandboxes. So you don't have to remember which port you should call and which socket. You just go inside the sandbox and say M to call the master, S1 to call the first slave, S2 to the second slave, or if you have something that is not master slave, you will have N1, N2, N3, and so on. One thing that uh, happened just uh, uh, last month, I have uh, remote sandboxes. So instead of doing all things that I showed you before, that you go to the MySQL um, website and download the binaries, you can use DB Deployer remote list so, so you see what is available. For example, for uh, MySQL 8.0, there is uh, 8.0.12 and 8013. And then you say DB Deployer remote get 
8013 and it will deploy one file named 8013 tar xz in your local directory and then you can use it like anything that you have downloaded from MySQL. So the good news is that uh, Oracle will publish a repository of minimal tarballs just like that. They say soon, actually they say soon one year ago. So everyone who needs this uh, kind of uh, remote uh, sandboxes, please remind the MySQL team at Oracle to do that. Or use Twitter right now to ask where are the, the tarballs. Don't forget to, um, to, to put the thread in that Twitter so somebody will do something. So, um, live demo. So the thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to um, deploy some box, three single sandboxes and several replication sandboxes uh, and uh, I just uh, run this one and let it run. So you see it starts uh, by uh, showing what is available and see this is, are all the versions installed in my laptop and then it installs the first single then it shows the sandboxes, and you see you have a MySQL 5641, it's single, and this is the port that is used by this uh, single installation. Then install 5724, and then 8014, and you see there are more ports. Notice that uh, 8014 has two ports instead of one, because one port is for the MySQL server and one port is for MySQL X. Um, then installs uh, uh, replication and you see that uh, actually no, this is multi without replication and you see that there are three ports in used. After that we have a, a replication this one with three ports occupied Soon after that, uh, there is an installation of MySQL uh, group replication. And uh, in the end, it says, uh, you see, you have more ports for group replication because uh, every group replication needs to have per server three, uh, two ports, one for the, uh, for the server itself and one for the group replication. When we reach uh, the point uh, when we install uh, group replication with uh, uh, MySQL 8.0, you will see that instead of six, you will have nine ports occupied. Uh, here is installing the replication. And notice that uh, every, all these sandboxes are not uh, um, clashing with each other, so they stay all happily in my laptop, uh, they don't uh, disturb each other and you can uh, run uh, um, tests on each one of those without uh, um, risk of uh, intruding in some other place. Here is coming uh, rupl group replication with 8.0, initialization is running and you see here you have uh, the eight port, uh, nine, nine ports instead of uh, six. How much time do we have? If you have, let's say, one or minute or two, and then we have to move. Okay. And then we have to, to leave the room. Yes. So it's finished, and one thing that I want to show you immediately is uh, DB Deployer global uh, use, so I say for if each server there run select uh, port server ID 
and server UUID. So it just goes to each sandbox and ask what do you have there and you get the, the, the answer here. This is very useful if you want to run something in every sandbox and you, need, you don't want to retype everything for each, uh, <clears throat> for each node. So, um, one thing that is uh, important to know is uh, DB Deploy uses uh, semantic versioning. What does it mean? It means that if I do a bug fix, you will see that uh, the last number will change. So from uh, um, 121.3 to 121.4. If I do a new version, uh, sorry, a new feature, you will see that the middle number will change. So you will know that there is something new, but you should not be worried that uh, uh, it will break uh, your, uh, your work. If you see a change that uh, f goes from one something to two, it means that I am breaking um, compatibility and this means that you cannot use the same version with your current applications. Um, there are many things that I want to do. Uh, the remote tarball, I just did it. Um, somebody suggests that I do an unpack command that has slimmed down the tarball, but since Oracle is going to publish those, so I, I don't, I'm not going to do that. And uh, another thing that I'm thinking of is to install Docker containers the same uh, way I install some boxes. So you can use uh, mm, containers with the same commands that uh, you use for some boxes. DB Deployer is open source. You are welcome to uh, contribute. Uh, you can just go to the mm, GitHub uh, Data Chairman DB Deployer and uh, uh, see the contributing um, uh, file that explains uh, how to do it. The slides are already available at slideshare.net uh, under Data Charmer. Questions? Yes. You. Yes. <laughs> uh, I know why you don't use this with MySQL, but uh, from the deployer, do you have plans to uh, expand to other? Uh, to expand to? Other database systems. So the question is, uh, do I have plans to expand the DB deployer to other database systems? If you mean Percona and MariaDB, it already works. If you mean PostgreSQL or other thing, not really, unless somebody is really interested and helps me. Uh, you want to know what was that installed or what uh, ran? The demo, you just demoed and installed them really quickly. Yes, uh, I just wrote a script that called uh, DB Deployer uh, no, the 20 times. Was the load. Ah, the load. I mean, the databases are just uh, being installed, and you have seen that uh, installing all those databases that are 52 uh, in total, it took something like uh, three minutes. Yes, I mean, I mean this. A Mac. I mean, quite hard it's a regular Mac. Yes. Yeah, so you know, you're not like you're a bit slow and, yeah. Okay. and th this is a reason why I prefer using sandbox rather than virtual machines because the, with the sandbox the database runs directly in the hardware. Okay, thank you, and uh, let's uh, get uh, rid of the flood. <laughs>